Hello there, and welcome to a tutorial on the plugin Advanced Mod Request. This is a plugin I made myself, and I'd like to show you how to use it effectively. So this plugin actually lets you make tickets created by users, and you can close them, you can reply to them, you can reopen them, and you can do a bunch of things that you can you normally can't do. Now this plugin can save data on a MySQL database or on a local database uh, through YML files. Now let's get into it. So the first command you want to usually do is slash my request, which will just show you everything that you can do. If the person has lesser permissions, they'll only show you the commands they can execute. And you can get into that on the permissions file. It tells you all of all the commands it can do there. Uh, the first command here you want to do is just slash mod request list. These are all the tickets that are open right now, which are only two. So both of these are mine. You can see that there's ticket number 69 and number 70. These tickets can be any number and they can be in any order actually, depending on the order that are made. So you can see both of these are open and they have no replies. So we can just click in and we can either teleport to the ticket see the replies if they have no replies you can open the replies as you can see there in the bottom left you can close them or you can reopen them as you can see with the sound effect they're in the config files i'll show you that later and you can just simply cancel and go back to the screen you are now you can see all the closed tickets which are none at the moment now the next command here is the status command these are all the tickets that the person made themselves so yeah, these are one ticket that I've made. The other ticket was made on my account that was on offline mode. So it does account for online offline mode. If you switch between the two, the plugin will not recognize the player as getting a UUID from offline player is pretty hard. So you can see we can go into them, but this tick, the status screen only lets you see the replies for any person, for any admin that replied to this ticket, you can see the replies. And since there is none, it won't show you. The next command here is the close command. So we can, instead of just clicking the buttons, we can close them with these commands. So we can just close and we can either do a random ticket, which does not exist. Let's do such more request close 10. And it says invalid ticket ID. Now let's do a correct ticket, which is close 70. And I'll show you it close them and it will send you that message. It sends me two because I am the owner of that ticket. Or we can do the close command again, and it will tell us that it's already closed, so we can't close it. But we can reopen them by doing slash open, and then there we go. It reopens it for further investigation, which just basically gives a staff member a notification whenever they join, uh, which I can actually show you right now. If I was to leave and come back, there is a message showing me how many tickets are open, and there's currently two. So let's get back to the list here. Let's get to the next command, which is the reply command. We can reply to the ticket, let's say a random one with some text, and it says invalid ticket error. So let's do a real ticket. Let's do a reply and it says, this is a awesome reply. Awesome reply. And there we go. You get the sound effect and these two, of course, this is because this is the message that the person who replied to will get. And then this is the message that the person who's getting replied to will get if they're online. If not, it will show you that their ticket was changed with a notification. So let's go over to the list and we can see that, oh, there is a reply. You can see reply is true and we can say, oh, there's one reply. Let's go see the replies. So it's currently one reply that says the replier is me, which I just replied to them and the message is, this is awesome. Now, if the message is longer, it'll do a dot, 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 and you can just click here to view the full reply, which will show you in chat right there. All of these messages in chat can be changed, even the prefix, everything can be changed. So let's move on to the next command, which is, of course, the purge. Uh, to purge every single ticket, either it's open or closed. So let's uh, Let's go over here to the close tickets. There's none. So let's go over to the open. Let's close this ticket. Okay. And then let's go over to purge. Not purse. Purge. Closed. 
and we see it successfully purged one ticket. If we go over to the list closed, there's none here. And if we go over to the list, now we see only one here. So it deletes all the tickets that are on the database. Now the cool thing about these, if we go over to the list, the teleport will teleport to the exact location where they where they are, where they made the ticket at least. This is the location where I made the ticket. If we go over to replies, of course, that, blah, 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 we're waiting for that. And yeah, there's a bunch of saving mechanics here. All the code only runs when something is being executed on the command, on the plugin. So absolutely no background code is ever done at all. Not even if it has a MySQL, if you're doing with MySQL. Now let's get over to the configs. The config is very standard. It has just a couple things here. It tells you the minimum words. So here, if you make a request or a report, I believe. Oh, I got Okay, if I do slash report and we do just ASD, it says that I, it must be longer than five words. So here I can do, please tell me when you can check the screeper. I don't know. Something like that, right? Now you can see it successfully made it and then the staff member will receive a new ticket has been created by whoever it was with the ticket id whatever the ticket id was so we go over to slash mod request list and then you can see it's new with a new ticket id and now you can see where they've made it what message it is you can click here for the full message it says ticket number 71 from whoever and it says tell you the message that it was it's quite expensive, it's a lot of detail gone into this, so go check it out yourselves. It's on the Spigot uh, resource pack, the resources. Uh, I'll leave it down in the description, go check it out. It is a paid re a resource, but it will be well worth whatever you pay for it, because it's it's quite amazing what you can do with just a couple tickets. You can tell whoever, uh, you can keep track and with contact with players even if they're online or offline if no staff, staff members are online you can still report to staff members etc let's get back to the config though the config has just a minimum amount of words these are auto notification sounds and if you want to enable the the messages that they receive as well this is just not not just for the to enable the actual notification sound which is what this makes but also sends them the message, which is the message is YML. So you, that's standard. The menu is the menu that you can actually uh, edit a little bit here. This is the status menu, the reply menu, and then this is the info menu that you can edit, the one that I just showed you right here. This is the info menu. The reply menu is uh, what you can edit when you're in the reply, when you click here. The status menu is the menu that you're when you're in this menu. The request status, that's the menu I'm talking about. As you can see, if it's open, it'll show you the insect 10. If it's closed, it'll be insect 8. Over here in the info menu, it gets a little bit cooler. You can edit the actual slots, you can edit the item. Uh, here, the status is when it's open or closed, you can edit those. And then over here in the general, these are just all the next and last page items. So if your tickets were to go above uh, 54, which hopefully it doesn't, because if not, you'll be getting a lot of messages when people join, or well, staff members join, I mean, it'll be like tickets over 45 and it'll be in next page and so on. That's it for the menu YML though. The messages YML is just all the messages from the plugin, which are all here. These placeholders are when you open up the list and you see if it's the status is open. You can see placeholders for status. If it's open or closed, if the reply is true or false, you can see true or false. And if it you want to purge it, just in case you want to change the language of the, of the plugin. These are you can edit the help menu here. So all these are compatible. You can you can change all of these uh, these messages and yeah that's basically it uh, the MySQL is pretty straightforward it's just the uh, if you want to enable it if it's enabled and it can't connect it will just go right back to the file database 
If not, it will try to contact the database once, and then whenever a ticket is changed, it will update the, the, the database. So yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you like this and go check it out. Thank you.